My name is Noah Hughes. I'm creative director on Tomb Raider, and you're watching Platform 32. One of the highlights of my visit to this year's E3 was a behind-closed-doors demo of some of the early sections of Tomb Raider Lara Croft's next big adventure. But something seems slightly odd about Lara in all this gameplay footage. She's not the Lady Anna Jones I remember her to be. She looks all young and stuff. Luckily, I got to speak to Noah Hughes, the creative director on Tomb Raider, so I asked him what the hell was going on. Well, this is Lara's origin story. So we're rebooting the franchise. We're taking everything you loved about Tomb Raider from a gameplay and a character perspective, but really looking at it through a new lens. We want to make Lara human, and we want to take her on, on an adventure that starts to turn her into the Tomb Raider. So one of the most important things about this game is that journey. We see Lara growing into the hero that she'll become. The Lara we saw at the beginning of the E3 demo was nothing like the Lara we have played with many times before in her previous games. How will we see her personality grow as the game progresses? Lara! Ross! Please come and get me. Easy, easy. We're regrouping at my location. Hopefully you see uh, sparks of, of Lara in there. She's brilliant. She's athletic and, and she's she's determined. She has a force of will that's amazing, right? So these are all things that I've loved about previous Tomb Raiders, but she's not powerful yet. She's not confident yet. She shows fear, she shows pain. So really that's all about starting her at a point where she's a relatable human so that when we take you through this journey, you believe it, you feel like you're going on that origin story with her. Could you tell us more about the location the game is set in? I saw loads of wrecked ships and planes and old World War II style bunker hatches. The island seemed almost like a cross between the TV show Lost and the Bermuda Triangle from the footage I saw. What's it all about? It's actually inspired by uh, the Dragon's Triangle, which is off the coast of Japan. It's a real place like the Bermuda Triangle, as you mentioned, which really is renowned for lost vessels in mysterious ways. So Lara ends up here, and, and at the beginning of the game, you're treated to that vista of other wrecked ships. But really, this is a place that um, has a rich and, and long history. One of the main things we were shown during the E3 demo was Lara's upgradable survival and salvaging skills. Can you tell my viewers all about them? Because I can't be bothered. Both of those play into a uh, character progression system. So as an origin story, it's really important to show Lara's emotional growth. But we want the players to feel that too, right? We want, so in the context of survival skills, at base camps you're able to use your experience and purchase new skills and, and basically cater to the type of uh, survivor that you want to be. And similarly, the salvage system is your weapon upgrades and you can basically customize your weapons in a way that uh, allows you to access new areas or have new abilities or just kind of tailor the experience to your, to your own uh, tastes. You can see Lara's signature weapon, the bow, being used here in this footage from early on in the game where she is hunting a deer in order to survive her first night alone on the mysterious island. Can you go into details on any of the other weapons or weapon upgrades Lara may have? We're not getting into too many details in that regard. We, the bow is an absolute signature weapon and through the salvage system she'll probably be able to upgrade the bow and things like that. We showed just a glimpse in the Microsoft demo of a fire arrow and a shotgun, but for the most part we're not going to get into, into any details yet. There was almost a survival horror vibe at times during the gameplay demo I witnessed at E3, with Lara being stalked by wolves and entering mysterious spooky mine shafts and caves. Will we still see the familiar puzzle element, or has this been toned down and replaced by more of an atmospheric, cinematic experience? He took Sam. Who took Sam? From a, uh, similar to Lara trying to start with the roots there, from a gameplay perspective, we really are still combining platforming and exploration and combat and puzzle solving. Um, so that's all stuff that people expect out of an action adventure game. And I'd say the main main way we uh, differ from a survival horror type experience is just in the breadth of experience. So in the in the claustrophobic, spooky places, it might feel like survival horror, but there's also awe-inspiring vistas and triumphant, beautiful moments. And, and it really is that vast variety that you get in an action adventure game that I love. There were some really brutal scenes in the gameplay footage we saw, including the now 
infamous attempted rape scene where Lara shoots a potential attacker in the face to stop him from sexually assaulting her. Although there is no rape or sexual assault shown, it is made very clear what the attacker's intentions were, and Lara is understandably traumatised as she stands over her fallen foe as he breathes his last breath. What was the intentions of showing something so graphic? <laughs> you can do it, Laura. After all, you're a croft. I don't think I'm that kind of croft. Sure you are. You just don't know it yet. Well, what's important to me is that first also we establish um, her relatability, that Lara had uh, become unflinching. She didn't show pain necessarily, right? She, she hardly even got hurt. And for me to be emotionally invested in her story, I wanted to make sure that you knew she was vulnerable and you knew she could be hurt. But also you look at it from the other side, which is the Tomb Raider is nothing like you or I necessarily. And, and you have to ask yourself, how does someone become that, right? So this island really becomes, it's the, the crucible with it, within which we forge the Tomb Raider. And, and, and that's gonna be adversity of all kinds. So basically we just try to make sure that Lara is always encountering a difficult situation, but really tapping into that, that survival instinct and determination in order to survive and progress and, and do whatever it takes to survive. Cool. So she kind of needs to be broken to be made the Tomb Raider we know. I, couldn't have put it better myself. Lara takes an insane amount of punishment in this game. Do you think the violence against her is appropriate? And is she still a positive role model? I, I absolutely hope so. I mean, we start with that, with treating Lara with respect. I think certainly there's some impressions and some of that comes from, in the context of demos, we kind of squish a lot of uh, kind of the high action moments together, but there's a lot in between and it's important to see it all in context so that my hope is when people do see it all in context and they go on that adventure with her that they feel that it's respectfully done, but that they are on a roller coaster ride that's intense in all kinds of ways. Now obviously Lara is famous for her appeal to the male gamers, but interestingly I have a couple of lesbian friends who also find her incredibly attractive. What do you think is the secret behind her universal sex appeal? I mean, that's something that's uh, interesting to me because a lot of times people point to males loving Lara and it's her physical attributes and things, but really uh, what I mentioned earlier in terms of that the athleticism, brilliant, she really is a brilliant mind and she's determined in a way that I, w I wish I could be, right, that she really will do anything to achieve her goals and I think these are all very aspirational things so for me she's absolutely physically attractive but she she's an amazing person too. Cheers Noah so when can I get my hands on Lara? I mean the game hands on the game. <coughs> yeah it'll be out in March 5th 2013 and will be on Xbox 360, PS3 and PC. Controversy aside Tomb Raider is looking pretty top in terms of gameplay for me with stunning graphics and a more action-packed adventure which still employs the familiar Tomb Raider puzzle elements, I think this rebooted origin story will breathe brand new life into the franchise, and I like the fact that Crystal Dynamics are letting us control a human Lara rather than the emotionless, indestructible killing machine we see in the earlier games. For me, the 25th of March still seems pretty far away, and I'm sure, like me, after watching this video, a lot of you guys will agree that that date couldn't come too enough. Uh, uh, soon enough. Soon enough. God, God damn it.